Hi there and welcome to the video. For this video we're going to take a closer look at the MB fashion wheel. So this is it, this is the MB fashion wheel. Um, I believe it was originally released in 1981. This version I have is from 1987. Um, it was incredibly popular and still popular today. I've just sold this one and it sold for £30. Um, they tend to sell anywhere from around £10 to £15 if it's unboxed, all the way up to the top end of around £30, which is what I achieved if you've got the box and all the accessories. So we're going to open it up and take a look inside. So just before we open it all up, let's have a look at the packaging. There, like I say, there was a version, I believe from 1981, which had a different design on the front. This is the 1987 edition. And then on the rear, it shows more of the contents and how it works. So what do you get in the box? You get your instructions, the fashion wheel itself. In the center, there's this little clever device that has a black crayon mounted sideways, which sits in there. A pack of colored pencils and a pair of scissors. Right, so how did it work? So this is the fashion wheel. It consists of three revolving discs. Uh, the centre one here, I don't know if this is going to show, um, has different heads on it with different hats or different hairstyles. The centre revolving disc here um, has different tops, so you've got shirts, um, cardigans, etc. And the outer pink disc has, is that showing? You've got trousers there, dresses etc skirts so effectively what you do you have this section which is where you mount your piece of paper so that holds your piece of paper down so you select the head you want and line that up in this section you would select your torso that you want like so and then the dress or trousers at the bottom when you've got your design all set up, you would get the paper mounted under there. And then this, which is mounted in the middle, it's quite a clever little design. You've got like a black crayon in there, mounted sideways, and then that you would rub across and create your design like such. You would get a black and white outline. So we'll give that a go in a minute. So the instruction book here, very simple and it basically shows and explains what I've just shown that's actually showing how you set it up and there you go so this is explaining how you use the sideways mounted little crayon to create your black and white design and then you color it in so let's see if we can make this work Okay, so we've got our piece of paper and I've lined up the design that we want. So we will mount that under there. So then that's going to hold the paper in place. And if we take our little crayon and we'll have a go at making this design. So. Hmm, not the greatest attempt. Didn't come out particularly clearly. 
Might have to give that another go. All right, let's try again. Okay, so we'll try again. I've actually set up a different design in there. Um, I don't know if I kept it still enough last time. Maybe I need to go this way. It's the heads that aren't really working. Okay, well that's better. It's not perfect by any means. It was certainly better running the crayon up from the bottom to the top. The head again hasn't come out great, but it's certainly better than my first effort. So there you go. Well, that gives you an idea. I'm clearly no expert at this. Practice is required, but not really my thing. Um, is that showing? There you go. But that's how it worked basically. So you could quickly and easily create your little fashion designs uh, and then colour them in to your heart's content with the uh, crayons that are provided. And uh, yeah, very cool. So like I say, I've sold this one. Um, I thought I'd better quickly make this video because I, I need to get it sent off today. Um, I sold mine on eBay and I achieved £30, that was with free shipping. And there you go, that's it. That was the MB Fashion Wheel. Hope you enjoyed that. Let me know below if you guys had this uh, in the 80s. I don't remember having one of these in our house. I had three sisters, um, so there more than likely was one knocking around. We had lots of... Uh, cousins as well. I had lots of girl cousins. It does ring a bell, but I don't think we actually had one in our house, but they were incredibly popular. Um, so there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope that was entertaining um, or informative. If it was, give it a thumbs up. And like I say, let me know below if you had this in the 80s, uh, if you've bought one or sold one recently on eBay and how you did with it. Yeah, I'd be interested to know. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Bye for now.